Over 50 million Americans claim German ancestry, which makes them the largest single ethnic group in the United States. Around 1.06 million people in the United States speak the German language. It is the second most spoken language in North Dakota. In 16 states, it is the most spoken language other than English and Spanish. History German became the second most widely spoken language in the U.S. starting with mass emigration to Pennsylvania from the German Palatinate and adjacent areas starting in the 1680s, all through the 1700s and to the early 20th century. It was spoken by millions of immigrants from Germany, Switzerland, and the Austro-Hungarian and Russian empires, and their descendants. Many newspapers, churches and schools operated in German as did many businesses. The use of the language was strongly suppressed by social and legal means during World War I, and German declined as a result, limiting the widespread use of the language mainly to Amish and Old Order Mennonite communities. After the First World War, German lost its position as the second most widely spoken language in the United States. <laughs> German language Methodist Church Around 1800, two German language Methodist churches were founded: the Vereinigte Ten Brüder in Christo and the Evangelische Gemeinschaft. Both used Methodist hymnals in German and published German newspapers, of which one existed until 1937. From the middle of the 19th century, English was used as a second language in the churches, but there were regions in which German was the main church language into the 20th century. In 1937 both churches fused and joined the United Methodist Church in 1968. <inaudible> German language press The first German newspaper in the U.S. was Der Hochdeutsch Pennsylvanisch Geschick Schreiber, Oder Sammling Wichtiger Nekriken aus dem Natur und Kirchen Reich the High German Pennsylvanian Story Writer, or Collection of Important News from the Realms of Nature and the Church", later known as Die Germantowner Zeitung. It was a German-language paper, Der Pennsylvanisch Staatsboot that on July 5, 1776, was the first paper to report the American Declaration of Independence, and it did so in German translation. English readers would have to wait a day later to read the English text in the Pennsylvania Evening Post. In the 19th century the German press increased in importance and the number of dailies exploded. In 1909 a report stated, "...every American city or town with a large German population possesses one or more German newspapers. In New York City there are twelve or more, the best, being, dot the New Yorker Staatszeitung. The Illinois Staatszeitung has nearly as large a circulation, and the Milwaukee Germania claims the largest circulation of all." The Milwaukee Herald comes not far behind. Philadelphia has its Democrat, Baltimore its Correspondent, Cincinnati its Volksblatt, St. Louis, Dotitz, Die Westliche Post and Der Anzeiger des Westens." It also reported that compared to 17,194 English papers in the U.S. in 1900, there were 613 German ones. The next largest language group, the Scandinavian, had only 115. With repression of the German language during World War I, the German press in America was reduced drastically. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Persecution during World War I. When the U.S. joined in World War I, an anti-German hysteria quickly spread in American society. German Americans, especially immigrants, were blamed for military acts of the German Empire, and even speaking German was seen as unpatriotic. Many German American families anglicized their names, e.g., from Schmidt to Smith, Schneider to Taylor, Muller to Miller, and German nearly disappeared in public. Many states forbade the use of German in public and the teaching of German in schools. An extensive campaign forbade all things German, such as performing the music of German composers at symphony concerts. Language was the focus of legislation at state and local levels. It took many forms, from requiring associations to have charters written in English to banning speaking German within city limits. Some states banned the teaching of all foreign languages, though most only banned German. A bill was introduced in October 1918 to create a National Department of Education, intended to restrict federal funds to states that enforced English-only education. 
The Lutheran Church was divided by an internal battle over conducting services and religious instruction in German. On April 9, 1919, Nebraska enacted a statute called, An Act Relating to the Teaching of Foreign Languages in the State of Nebraska, commonly known as the Simon Act. It provided that no person, individually or as a teacher, shall, in any private, denominational, parochial or public school, teach any subject to any person in any language other than the English language." It forbade foreign instruction to children who had not completed the eighth grade. A total ban on teaching German in both public and private schools was imposed for a time in at least 14 states, including California, Indiana, Wisconsin, Ohio, Iowa and Nebraska. California's ban lasted into the mid 1920s. German was banned again in California churches in 1941. The Supreme Court case in Meyer v. Nebraska ruled that these laws were unconstitutional, but German never recovered its position as the second language in the United States. Pennsylvania's legislature passed a German language ban, but it was vetoed by the governor. Much of the animosity against German had to do with the socialist, pacifist and isolationist tendencies of many German Americans. Dialects and geographic distribution Alsatian Alsatian, German, Elsassisch, is a low Alemannic German dialect spoken by Old Order Amish in Allen County, Indiana and their daughter settlements. These Amish immigrated to the U.S. in the mid-1800. There are fewer speakers of Alsatian in Indiana than of Bernese German, even though there are several thousand speakers. There are also speakers of Bernese German and Pennsylvania German living in the community. Most speakers of Alsatian also speak or at least understand Pennsylvania German. Speakers of Alsatian in Indiana are thus exposed to five languages or dialects, Alsatian, Bernese German, Pennsylvania German, Standard German and English. Amana Amana German, West Central German dialect, is still spoken by several hundred people in seven villages in the Amana colonies in Iowa, which were founded by inspirationalists of German origin. Amana is derived from Hessian dialects. Topic: <inaudible> Bernese. Bernese German, Standard German, Burn Dutch, Alemannic German, Barn Dutch is a subdialect of High Alemannic German which is spoken by Old Order Amish in Adams County, Indiana and their daughter settlements. There are several thousand speakers of the dialect in the USA. Topic: Hutterite Hutterite communities in the United States and Canada speak Hutterite German, an Austro-Bavarian dialect. Hutterite is spoken in the U.S. states of Washington, Montana, North and South Dakota, and Minnesota, and in the Canadian provinces of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. Indiana There is also a significant population of Amish and Old Order Mennonites located in rural areas of Elkhart County and LaGrange County, Indiana, who speak Pennsylvania Dutch. A much smaller community of Pennsylvania Dutch-speaking Amish is found in Park County, in western Indiana. Many English words have become mixed with this dialect and it is quite different from Standard German but quite similar to the dialect of the Palatinate region. Usually, Pennsylvania Dutch often just Dutch or Deutsch is spoken at home, but English is used when interacting with the general population. The Amish and Old Order Mennonites of northern Indiana often differentiate between themselves and the general population by referring to them, respectively, as the Amish and the English, noting the difference in language. Pennsylvania Dutch is sometimes used in worship services, though this is more common among the Amish than the Mennonites. More mainstream city Mennonites may have a working knowledge of the language, but it is not frequently used in conversation or in worship services. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Pennsylvania. Old Order Amish, Old Order Mennonites, and other Pennsylvania Germans speak a dialect of German known as Pennsylvania German, widely called Pennsylvania Dutch, where Dutch is used in its archaic sense, thus not limited to Dutch but including all variants of German. 
It is a remnant of what was once a much larger German-speaking area in eastern Pennsylvania. Most of the Pennsylvania Dutch originate from the Palatinate area of Germany and their language is based on the dialect of that region. While the language is stable among the old orders and the number of speakers growing due to the high birth rate among the old orders, it is quickly declining among the non-plain Pennsylvania Germans, also called Fancy Dutch. Topic: <laughs> Plattdeutsch. Plattdeutsch, a low German dialect, is spoken by Russian Mennonites, who immigrated mostly to Kansas in the mid-1870. These Mennonites tended to slowly assimilate into the mainstream society over several generations, but Plotdich speaking Mennonite immigrants mainly from Mexico, where there is no assimilation, invigorated Plotdich in Kansas. Plotdich speaking Mennonite migrants from Mexico formed a new settlement in Seminole, Texas in 1977. In 2016 there were about 6,000 Plotdich speakers around Seminole. Texas. A dialect called Texas German based in the Texas Hill Country around the town of Fredericksburg still exists, but has been dying out since the end of World War II. Following the introduction of English-only schooling during both world wars, Texas German speakers drifted towards English and few passed the language to their descendants. Wisconsin The various German dialects that were brought to Wisconsin did not develop into a leveled dialect form, like e.g. in southeast Pennsylvania, where Pennsylvania German as a leveled dialect emerged, but remained distinct. <laughs> German as the official U.S. language myth An urban legend, sometimes called the Muhlenberg legend after Frederick Muhlenberg, states that English only narrowly defeated German as the U.S. official language. In reality, the proposal involved a requirement that government documents be translated into German. The United States has no statutory official language, English has been used on a de facto basis, owing to its status as the country's predominant language. In Pennsylvania, which had a large German-American population, German was long allowed as the language of instruction in schools, and state documents were available in German until 1950. As a result of anti-German sentiment during World War I, the fluency decreased from one generation to the next and only a small fraction of Pennsylvanians of German descent are fluent in the German language. <laughs> German-American tradition in literature The ties between Germany and the United States having been historically strong has brought about a number of important literary authors. In modern German literature, this topic has been addressed frequently by the Boston-born author of German and English lyrical poetry, Paul-Henri Campbell. Use in education According to a government-financed survey, German was taught in 24% of American schools in 1997, and only 14% in 2008. German is third in popularity after Spanish and French in terms of the number of colleges and universities offering instruction in the language. Topic: <laughs> German language schools. Fairview Clifton German Language School, Cincinnati. German American School, Portland, Oregon German Language School, Cleveland German Language School, Columbus, Ohio German School Phoenix, Tempe, Arizona Goethe Institutes in Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, New York City, San Francisco and Washington, D.C. Milwaukee German Immersion Elementary School, Milwaukee Twin Cities German Immersion School, St. Paul, Minnesota Waldsee Camp near Bemidji, Minnesota. German International School, Boston. German International School, Chicago. German School, New York. German International School of Silicon Valley. German School, Washington D.C. Topic: Presidents. Topic: See also. American Association of Teachers of German Bennett Law 
Bilingual education German American German American National Congress German American Heritage Foundation of the USA French language in the United States Topic Media Arbeiter Zeitung, a Chicago German language newspaper. Wechter und Anzeiger, was a Cleveland German language newspaper once held daily circulation of 34,000. New Yorker Staats Zeitung Der Volksfreund, a newspaper in Buffalo, New York. Neue Press, a Los Angeles German language newspaper. KMTP, Deutsche Well TV affiliate for the San Francisco Bay Area. KJAY, Sacramento radio station with weekly German broadcast. Hayu we Dryu, the only existing Pennsylvania German newspaper. Topic. References. Topic. Further reading. Gilbert, Glenn G. Ed. The German Language in America: A Symposium. Austin, University of Texas Press, 1971. Kloss, Heinz The American Bilingual Tradition reprint ed. McHenry, Ill, Center for Applied Linguistics and Delta Systems. ISBN 1-887744-02-9. Sammons, Joe ed. The German Language in America, 1683–1991. Madison, Wyss, Max Cade Institute for German American Studies, University of Wisconsin Madison, 1993. External links American Association of Teachers of German, German American National Congress, a national organization celebrating German American heritage. Willie Paul Adams, The German Americans. Chapter 7, German or English Bastian Sick, German is the official language of the USA The Muhlenberg hoax, did German lose out to English by just one vote? Persecution of the German language in Cincinnati and the Ake Law in Ohio, 1917–1919